Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. So today I'm going to be doing the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty Rundown. Now, I did do this back in spring, I believe. I decided to do it again for fall. Now, this Ulta 21 Days of Beauty is starting September 1st and will go all the way to September 21st. If you're wondering what I'm looking at, I have all of this information on this lovely little packet that I made. So if I keep looking down, I apologize. Like I said, I'm either looking at this or I'm looking at my phone on the Ulta website to give you guys more information about the products. Okay, so to be 100% honest with you guys, I did go through and I'll skim through my little list that I have here, and I am not too excited about this Ulta 21 Days of Beauty. I was a lot more excited for the spring one than I am this fall one. I just feel like some of the products in here are just products I haven't been selling and they're just trying to get rid of, or I just feel like they're not like products that excite me. Like half of these products I don't own in my collection because they never really got my attention. Um, so honestly, most of the stuff on this list I've never tried. So I'm just going to go ahead and read what Ulta claims it does and let you guys know how many stars that those products have. Um, but yeah, I'm not super excited. Maybe you guys will be because maybe some of the products on here you guys do have in your collection and you want to pick up while they're on sale. Totally get that. Um, but for me personally, like there's only a handful of items that I'll probably pick up that I'm a little bit excited about, but I was definitely more excited for the spring one. I feel like they had a lot more excitement things. But the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty, if you don't know what it is, basically they have like 21 days and each day they have products that are going to be on sale. It's usually like two or three different products that they will have on sale and most of the time it's like 50% off, maybe a little bit less, but usually it's around 50% off, which is really, really nice, especially for that kind of person that likes to stock up on your products ahead of time. You can get them at half the price, so might as well do it then. Um, now this Ulta 21 Days of Beauty is going to start Sunday, September 1st and go all the way until obviously the 21st, but what day? Um, Saturday, September 21st. So yeah, full 21 days of deals and steals and amazingness. I love Ulta 21 Days of Beauty. So um, also a little bit more about the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty is it is twice a year. I don't know if I said this already, but it does go from spring or they do it in the spring and also the fall. Um, and then also, also, this is the best part. They do have online exclusive items, so each day they will have, or not, I don't think it's each day, but there will be certain days where they only have items that you can get on sale online. I don't know what the online items are, usually don't find out until Ulta 21 Days of Beauty starts, which like I said isn't until Sunday, September 1st. Um, but so yeah, they do have online exclusive items, so be sure to check online to see what they have for sale on each day. That is the most exciting part to me because you would not believe last year they had some of the most amazing things that were like surprise items online, and that was like my favorite part of the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty. Um, but so yeah, if you guys want to see my rundown, my thoughts and opinions on some of these products, maybe see some of the reviews on Ulta, that kind of stuff, because like I said, some of these products I haven't really tried and didn't re they never really interested me, but if they interest you guys, be sure to keep watching this video to see what I think, my thoughts, opinions, and so yeah. I also just wanted to mention to you guys that as of right now, today is the 27th, the calendar for Ulta 21 Days of Beauty is actually not out yet. I did tweet them on Twitter and they said it's coming soon, which I feel like they should put it out earlier so people can know like a lot earlier so people can know ahead of time but they haven't put it out yet but I did find one online that I think is for this year I'm almost positive because all the other 21 days of beauty videos I've seen it follows this list that I have here but I did find the calendar and it's a little bit blurry um so sorry if I mess up anything but I also did get this list I got it off of allure.com they also had the 21 days of beauty rundown with all the products and prices so I did compare the allure list with the Ulta calendar to make sure it matched up and it did. Some of the prices were a little bit off so I did adjust them but then again it's whatever you know if it's a little bit off it's only off by like a dollar or so. So like I said if I miss any products maybe um mess up the prices I totally apologize like it's like the calendar was way too blurry to know if it's like 100% accurate and I didn't want to wait any longer to film this video. I wanted to get it up ASAP so you guys know ahead of time like what's going on for this sale. But for the first day, Sunday, September 1st, um, the Peter Thomas Roth Firm X 360 Eye Renewal and the Peter Thomas Roth um, Retinol Fusion PM Eye Cream is going to be on sale. So now the Firm X 360 Eye Renewal retails for $75. It's going to be on sale for $37.50. And the Retinol Fusion PM Eye Cream usually retails for $55 and it's going to be on sale for $27.50. 
say I'm gonna go on the Ulta website so I can give you guys some information so the firm X eye cream has three and a half stars so not too bad not the best either and it claims that it instantly and temporarily temporarily Tightens, affirms, and smoothens the appearance of crow's feet, fine lines, and deep wrinkles around the eye area while diminishing the appearance of under eye puffiness. So this one, like I said, has three and a half stars. And I've read some of the reviews and some people love it, some people hate it, they think it's a waste of money. Um, but so yeah, that one has three and a half stars. But the Retinol Fusion PM Eye Cream has a four star so a lot better rating and um, it basically just says that it has like retinol in it um, and it's encapsulated retinol delivers a gentle sustained release of potent retinol over eight hours to help inc de increase skin smoothness reduce the appearance of dark blah 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 so basically this product is a little bit more long lasting where the firm 360 is temporary now this product like I said does have four stars so if I were to pick between the two I'd probably go with the one that has better ratings just because that one seems more promising and it's a little bit more long lasting I am not into that like kind of realm I feel like I don't know, I'm just not like into that kind of stuff, so I'm not gonna be picking it up. Now, the next product, this one's a little bit exciting. This is the Benefit Cosmetics The Professional Face Primer. It's usually either 32 or 54, and it's gonna be on sale for 16 to 27. So now, why they say 32 or 54 is because the original size that they originally came out with is $32, and then they also have a jumbo size, and that jumbo size is usually $54. So if you're that kind of person that's always wanted to try the Benefit Professional Primer, um, um, I pick it up, especially if you're gonna just get the, like the regular size. It's gonna be on sale for sixteen dollars, which is a crazy, crazy deal. That's like drugstore price. But me personally, I remember I tried the professional, and I wasn't a huge, huge fan. I do want to give it another try. I'm not sure if I'm gonna pick it up yet. I'm still like thinking about it a little bit. But I remember trying it. I was a little bit younger and kind of still experimenting with makeup and I wasn't a huge fan. Um, but I definitely might give it another try because everyone loves it and I don't understand why I didn't like it. Um, but basically if you have pores, oily skin, uneven texture, acne, that kind of stuff, this is the perfect product for you because it almost has like that silicone feel but not greasy. It's not the greasy silicone feel, it's a smooth silicone. You put that baby on and it fills in your pores, your fine lines, your texture, all that kind of stuff so your foundation goes on perfectly on top of your skin. Now for Monday, September 2nd, the Ofra Cosmetics Highlighter Singles are usually $29 and they're going to be on sale for $14.50. I do believe that these are all the single highlighters that they have. I don't think it's certain shades that are on sale. I think it's all of them. I'm not 100% sure, but I 110 recommend the Ofra highlighters. They are so, 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 so bomb. You guys have probably seen them in my Ulta, not my Ulta, you've probably seen them in my highlighter declutter video, and I love those highlighters. They're so blinding, not powdery. They look good on texture, like it doesn't enhance texture is what I'm trying to say, and it's just an overall amazing product. I have the shades Pillow Talk and Glazed Donut, I think, and I really, really love them. They are so, so good. Now the next product is something I'm not really interested in. It's the Foreo Luna Play Plus. It's usually $49. It's going to be on sale for $24.50. Now this I've seen at TJ Maxx and Marshalls um, and I believe it was on sale for $30. Um, but this is more of like if you're the kind of person that likes a silicone facial scrubber you would like this. It's a literally just I think it like vibrates a little bit too and it's not going to do anything too, super like exfoliating on the skin it's basically just something to use in place of using your hands if it like grosses you out or anything I could be wrong I don't really know much about it I literally just know that it's a silicone facial scrubber that has like a vibratingness to it I guess I don't know I don't know but for $24 it's not too too bad um, but like I said, they do have it at TJ Maxx and Marshalls as well. Okay, so now for Tuesday, September 3rd, the Becca Hydra Mist Set and Refresh Powder is usually $39. It's going to be on sale for $19.50. I've heard amazing things about this. I actually just got it in my BoxyCharm, so I won't be picking it up. And I have not tried it yet. I know, I know, I should have tried it a lot sooner so I could let you guys know. But honestly, I did not find this Ulta 21 Days of Beauty shebang until today. If I knew ahead of time, I would have tried the product to let you guys know what I think about it. It's just basically a powder that when you put it on your skin it feels cold which is super weird but I also heard that it's really good at like smoothing your skin and leaving a nice like smoothing effect I guess I don't really know how to explain it I've heard nothing but good things about this on Ulta it has pretty good reviews I think let me take a look yeah on Ulta this has four and a half stars which is like 
incredible. They have two shades. They have original, and they also have golden bronze for darker skin tones. Um, but yeah, four and a half stars. It has 1,074 reviews, so that's really, really good. Um, and yeah, it just like helps your makeup last all day, ultra fine, light reflecting powders, float over skin to smooth and blur fine lines and imperfections, blah blah blah, just anything a usual powder would do. But this one just has that extra cooling effect to it. Next for Tuesday, September 3rd, they have the Mario Badescu Rose Hip Nourishing Oil. It's usually $22, it's going to be on sale for $11, which is really, really good. Um, now I don't really know much about this product, so I'm going to go ahead and look it up on Ulta Dot com. Okay, so Rose Hips Nourishing Oil. It has four and a half stars, which is really, really good. It, um, it says it revives dehydrated skin with this lightweight nourishing formula, Rose Hips Extract and Rose Hip Oil, both natural sources of essential fatty acids and antioxidant. Vitamin C brightens the skin while providing intense moisture to help smooth dry patches, suitable for sensitive skin types. So if you have super dry skin, this product sounds freaking amazing. I wish I had dry skin so I could try this out, but I don't. I have oily skin, so I feel like this might not work for me. I, I'd recommend that. I haven't tried it, but I'd recommend it to my dry skin girls. And if you have tried it, and if you know anything about it, let about any of these products. If you tried any of these products that I don't know anything about, comment them down below. Let everyone know the news because I have the stuff I don't even know about, okay? I'm just being honest. <laughs> okay, so Wednesday, September 4th, the Skin Iceland Hydro Cool Firming Eye Gels are usually $18 to $32, and they're gonna be on sale for nine to 16. So I don't know, okay, so they do have two different packs. One's a travel pack, and one has how many in them? Okay, so that's cool. So one comes with like one pair, and the other one comes with eight. No, one comes with, the travel size comes with four pairs, and the full size pack comes with eight pairs. Um, but, so looking at the reviews, they have four stars, which isn't too, too bad. Let's see what it claims. Um, when you're run down and stressed out, the delicate skin under your eyes really takes a beating, resulting in puffiness and premature wrinkling. Um, in just 10 minutes, Skin Iceland Hydro Cool Firming Eye Gels, a cooling transdermal gel patch, infuses the eye area with Icelandic glacial waters and concentrated doses of firming. It's just basically, I'm just going to break it down for you. When you're tired, your eyes get puffy, and this is supposed to help with the puffiness, and it's supposed to be cooling. So... I don't know, I don't really use eye patches. Um, someone said it's actually itchy. So the first three reviews are actually bad. Itchy, way overpriced, burns. So, I don't know. You go about that the way you go about it. I'm not into the, that kind of eye stuff. I feel like a lot of this stuff is like eye stuff. Is it, uh, is it just me? I'm only on day four and I feel like it's about eyes. All right, so next for that day is the Bare Minerals Concealers. Now they're usually 20 to $24 and they're gonna be on sale for 10 to 12. So now when I look on the Ulta calendar, it looks like the products that are gonna be on, like the concealers that are gonna be on sale are actually like the um, Bare Skin Complete Coverage Serum Concealer is gonna be on sale, which has four and a half stars. Um, so maybe I'll try that. I do have an obsession with concealers, so I'll probably give that a try. And then also the Bare Pro 16 Hour Full Coverage Concealer um, has four stars. So the Bare, the Bare Skin one has better reviews, like star ratings, um, but this one, I, the Bare Pro one, I've actually seen at TJ Maxx and Marshalls, just a heads up. And when I found it, it was cheaper than 10 or $12. So just keep that in mind. If I were to pick up either of the two, it would be the Bare Skin one, because that's a, like, that's a liquid concealer, where the other one is a stick, and I'm not into that kind of stuff. Thursday, September 5th, the Tarte Tardist Double Take Eyeliner is usually $24. It's going to be on sale for $12. Now, I don't even know what this is, so let me look it up. Tarte, well, obviously it's an eyeliner, but I don't know. Okay, so it's like a coal eyeliner on one side and a felt tip on the other side. Um, it comes with black and brown, or in black and brown. Um, but yeah, it's just one of those dual-ended eyeliners where it has like a felt tip on one side and a pencil tip on the other. It has four and a half stars, which is really, really good. Let's see if it's like waterproof or anything. Semi-matte, opaque finish. Best-selling vegan dual-ended eyeliner that has a waterproof liquid and gel formulas that will cause some serious double takes. Okay, girl. So it's waterproof, no streaking or smearing. Um, they glide on and lock down. So 
this sounds promising. I actually, I'm not, I don't wear eyeliner. I'm so bad at it. I have so many eyeliners I don't wear because it just takes way too much time for me. Like doing my eyebrows is a hassle. I hate doing my eyebrows and I hate putting on eyeliner, but sometimes you girls got to do it. So this seems kind of interesting and I feel like for $12 you get like two eyeliners. It sounds kind of good. Next is the MAC Lipstick in Diva in Cream in Your Coffee. So now these are... I couldn't read it on the calendar, but on Allure.com it says they're usually $19, which sounds right, and then they're going to be on sale for $9. Getting a MAC lipstick for $9, that's cheaper than TJ Maxx and Marshall, so thank you very much. TJ Maxx and Marshall, it's like $9.99, so it only saved me like a dollar, but, you know, it's still cheaper. <laughs> Okay, so the shade Diva, it's a matte, it's an intense reddish burgundy, so it's a more fall kind of color, which is very suiting, suiting, suitable, very, goes with the fall theme, okay, so that I get. So the cream in your coffee one looks similar to Diva, Diva's a little bit more burgundy and more vibrant, where the cream in your coffee one is a little bit more like a pinkish mauve kind of color. I'll try to insert pictures so you guys can see what I'm kind of talking about. But if I were to pick between the two, it would definitely be cream in your coffee. Honestly, I know this is like asking a lot, but I wish all of the MAC lipsticks were on sale. I don't wish it was two colors. I wish it was at least five colors. Well, at least Allure said it's two colors. Maybe it's all of them. I don't know. Um, but I wish it would be all of them. I feel like that would be really cool and I don't know. I feel like that would be nice, but I guess I'm asking for too much. And I love MAC lipsticks. I collect them. I love them. They are amazing. Just an all-around great lipstick. They are pricey, but they are so good and so worth it. Now, the last product for Thursday, September 5th, is the Murad Nutrient Charge Water Gel. It's usually $60. It's going to be on sale for $30. Okay, so it looks like it's a moisturizer. Yeah, it's a moisturizer with a bunch of different like vitamins and that kind of stuff in it. Locks, locks moisture into the skin. Hydrating, oil-free. This has a four and a half stars. So not too, too bad. It's actually pretty good. Awesome. Has changed my skin. Holy grail. Good results. Someone's gonna broke out in a rash. Love this. Worth every dime. So most of the reviews I'm seeing are really, really good. I've only seen like maybe two or three bad reviews. Um, so yeah, I don't even know like what skin type I would recommend this to. I'd probably say oily skin. Oh, solution for dryness, fine lines and wrinkles, dullness, and uneven texture. So there you go. That's what it's for. So if you have any of those things, I'd give it a try. Okay, so on Friday, September 6th, the Lancome Monsieur Big Mascara is usually $25. It's going to be on sale for $12.50. This I'm probably going to pick up because I did try it in one of my videos. I think it was trying my subscriber's favorite makeup. I did try a little mini size and I really, really liked it. Um, so I'm probably going to pick that up. I had I didn't wear it for like a whole day, so I can't really give you my honest review on how it lasts. But I love the way it made my lashes look. It reminded me a lot of the Better Than Sex Mascara, the way it like made my lashes look. That's like, it. they're basically like the same thing, I felt like, like look-wise. Um, so I definitely recommend that mascara for $12.50. You need to pick it up. It is so, so good. And also for Friday, the Paracone MD High po Potency Classics Collection is usually either $38 to $95. Oh my god. And it's going to be on sale for $19 or $49.50. Let's see what this is. Okay, so it's basically anything. That's why it's $38 to $50 because it's anything from the high potency line that you can pick up. They have a finishing and firming tinted moisturizer. They have a face finishing and firming moisturizer. So they basically just have a whole bunch of like, they have serums, they have cleansers, they have moisturizers, they have eye creams. They all have four and a half stars. I haven't seen anything less than that. Reviews look good and I'm assuming it's, I don't know what even it's for. It doesn't really have much information under each product. It just like says rejuvenating, firming, that kind of stuff. Moving on to Saturday, September 7th, the Anastasia Beverly Hills um, brow definer is usually $23. It's going to be on sale for $11.50. Honestly, I never tried this product. I love the my uh, the Brow Wiz. That's my favorite. I kind of wish that was on sale because I missed it last sale and I was so mad. 
um, but they changed it to the brow definer, which I've also heard good things about, but it is a thicker pencil. So if you love the brow is and that's like perfect for you, anything thicker you can't use. I don't recommend this because it is a thicker eyebrow pencil, so it can be harder to use. And then also that day, the Dermalogica Skin Smoothing Cream is usually $69 and it's going to be on sale for $35. Um, it just softens your skin, um, protects against environmental stress just basically hydrate your skin. It's basically a moisturizer. It has four stars, which isn't too bad. Um, and let's see some of the reviews. Everyone, most of them are good. Some of them say they smell bad. So I would assume if you have really sensitive, like if you don't like the smell of stuff, if you have a very sensitive nose, I guess I should say, I wouldn't recommend it because a lot of people are saying it's like smells really, really bad. Sounds, it sounds intriguing. If you like softening, moisturizing, and protecting your skin from environmental stuff, and then that's a product for you. Now, we're on week two, we're almost done. We have the Too Faced Natural Face and Eyes Palettes. Now this, <laughs> it's usually $38 to $44. It's gonna be on sale for 19 to 22. So now the Too Faced Natural Eye Palette. I actually used my eyes. I used the natural matte. I used the older packaging, not the newer one. Um, but they also have just a regular, like, neutral one, which is really, really pretty. And that one, I think, has a little bit more, like, shimmer in it. Um, like I said, the one I used today was matte, and then I used another eyeshadow on top. Um, but that, I love that palette. Oh my gosh, that palette is so good. And the newer packaging is stunning. So 110% recommend that. But now, the face palette never tried i don't even think i've seen it before Ooh, that looks really pretty what is it gonna be on sale for 22 dollars natural face highlight blush and bronzing veil face palette that looks really really pretty see i'm not a face palette kind of gal the only palettes i use are eyeshadow palettes i don't really use like face palettes or blush palettes or bronzing palettes nothing like that that does look really really pretty so i am i am really hesitant to pick it up but i'm trying to think in the back of my head will i really use it Probably not. All right, so next for Sunday, September 8th, we have the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Light or the Reduced Redness Primer. Now, the, um, the Primer Light one that I've used is really, really good. I do really like that. Now, the Redness one I have not used, I don't believe. Um, but the primer light one I actually use when I do like makeup on other people. That one's like my go-to primer for everybody. I really like it. It works good with every skin type. It does have a silicone feel to it, but it's not greasy and it just smooths out the skin and I really like it. It's a pretty good primer. Um, but like I said, the redness one I've never tried. Now it's usually either $36 to $39 and they're going to be on sale for $18 or $19.50. So pretty good deal. And then next is the Derma Doctor cockadoo okay i remember reading this word last 21 days of beauty because i remember laughing at it i'm almost positive anyways the derma doctor cockadoo c20 percent vitamin c serum with frulic acid and vitamin e usually it's 95 dollars it's going to be on sale for 47.50 which is a heck of a deal holy moly let's see what this product does um, lightweight, anti-aging, like helps with anti-aging. Again, it's going along with the under eye product theme. It's good for your under eyes and stop you from aging. So if you're into like vitamin C serums for like under your eyes, that might be a good one to try out, especially if it's usually $95. That is insane. But me, mm -mm, I'm good. Next is Monday, September 9th. We have the Urban Decay All Nighter Waterproof Setting Powder. Now this I'm probably going to pick up because I've always wanted to try it. I've heard it actually works. Um, it's usually $34. It's going to be on sale for $17. It's basically supposed to make your makeup waterproof. I would love to test it out and do my makeup and set my makeup with this and go underwater and see if like it actually is waterproof. But we'll have to see. I'm definitely, I think I'm definitely going to pick that one up. And then also for that day is the Peach and Lily Glass Skin Refining Serum. It's usually $39. And it said it's going to be on sale for $20, which I feel like isn't really that big of a deal. So that might be a typo or it really could just be only $19 off. But I feel like it would be more than that. But maybe not. I don't know. It's probably, it's probably on sale for $19.50. Because everything's usually 50% off. So it's probably actually on sale for $19.50, not $20. But let's see what this product does. It has four and a half stars, which is really good. Um, go makeup and filter free. 
Um, recommended for dullness and uneven skin tone, rough skin texture, wrinkles, fine lines, sagging, dehydrated skin. Alicia's tip, dehydrated skin lacks moisture. Oily skin types can have dehydrated dehydrated skin too which is actually very true and redness and inflammation so dang that basically set up my whole life right there you'll uncover skin that is poreless translucent and luminous like a pane of glass Ooh. That sounds promising especially with four and a half stars each product from their line either has four and a half stars or five stars nothing less than that so you can tell they really 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 do good with their products so I might pick that one up. All right, now for Tuesday, September 10th, we have the Too Faced Tutti Fruity Palette. They're usually $34. They're going to be on sale for $17. Now, these were on sale a few weeks ago for around the same price, I feel like. Or maybe the Tutti Fruity line was 30% off. Um, honestly, I feel like they're just trying to get rid of this um, line. I feel like Too Faced is just trying to get rid of it. I feel like everyone's over it now, and they're just not about it. Um, I've heard mixed reviews, I've heard a whole bunch of things, so I'm just going to go on the Ulta website and see what these, some of these reviews say on here. They have four and a half stars, so that's not too bad. They're scented, they come with a few mattes, a few um, metallics, one swipe coverage, intense payoff for luxury, one swipe coverage, like I said. And each, depending on which palette you get, they're each scented. So if you get like pineapple, it's scented like pineapple. Or they have berry and it's probably scented like berry. The pineapple one is probably the one that I would get because it has more neutral tones. The berry ones are a little bit more purple. They are more wearable purples, but still. Um, but the pineapple one actually has four stars. And the um, berry one has four and a half stars yeah four and a half stars so i don't know maybe i'll have to do a little bit more research on those and see what i'm thinking but i don't know maybe i'll pick that up also for tuesday the dr brandt no more baggage was 22 to 42 dollars and it's now going to be 11 to 21 dollars okay so they have a travel size and a full size the full size or they have three and a half stars so not too good um could be better it's basically just that's what I don't like about this Ulta 21 Days of Beauty. There's so much eye stuff. Like, we get it. Okay, we get it. Just pick one or two really, really good eye products and put those on sale. We don't need, like, five million options because not everyone needs stuff for their under eyes. I know you're trying to tell me that I have dark circles and, like, I really need under eye cream, but I'm not interested. Okay? Okay. That's all I gotta say. Some people are like, favorite. Some people are like, nope. Some people are like, thick consistency, difficult to get out of the tube, hands down the best. So I don't know. I really don't know. I don't know who I can trust anymore with this stupid eye cream because this is way too much and I don't know if it's real. And my eyelashes are coming off because my eyes are all getting all watery. I mean, if you're guests, I guess if you're really into eye creams, then give it a try, but... Not there with you. I'm really not. Wednesday, September 11th, the Buxom Plump Line Lip Liner is usually $18 and it's going to be on sale for $9. Skip out on it. I'm telling you right now because go to TJ Maxx and Marshalls and they have them there cheaper. Gotcha, girl. Okay? Just go there. Just go there. Don't even, don't even bother. Don't even bother. And honestly, this lip liner, it's a thick, chubby pencil, so it's more of like a, like a lip pencil stick like lipstick pencil rather than a lip liner but if you wait patiently you will find them at TJ Maxx and Marshall because I have seen them so just go there instead okay so also that Wednesday the proactive select cleansing so I'm, I'm pretty sure select ones of their cleansers are gonna be on sale I don't know which ones because I can't tell by the picture on the Ulta calendar but they're usually either 30 to 55 dollars and they're going to be on sale for $15 to $27.50. So if you're into Proactive, go for it. Personally, I use Proactive and it really dried out my skin. And I wasn't a huge fan because it is more towards like acne prone skin. Um, but yeah, if you're into Proactive and you really like the brand and you have a cleanser that you use by them and you, that you like have to get, like no doubt about it, you need it, then pick it up while it's on sale. Now Thursday, September 12th, the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes 4-in-1 Mascara is again on sale. Um, it's usually $23. It's going to be on sale for $11.50. This was on sale in their last 21 Days of Beauty as well. Um, mascara, it's whatever. I've heard good things about it. So do what you wish with that information. 
Now the Mario Badescu cleansers are usually $14 and they're going to be on sale for $7 to $8. Um, which is kind of cool. Mar Mar Mario Badescu, I can't talk. They have a bunch of different cleansers. They have a bunch of like sprays. Um, I don't know if you know about like the rose water, like the lavender, the c cucumber one. They have a bunch of different sprays and then they have cleansers that go with those sprays. Um, and I've heard amazing things about those, like all of them. So just give them a try. Give them a little, give them a little go, especially for seven, eight dollars. That's friggin' so cheap. Friday the 13th is a spooky day, but we got the Tarte Amazonian Clay Blush and Highlighters. They're usually $29 and they're going to be on sale for $14.50. If you have not tried the Tarte Amazonian Clay Blushes, you need to do that because in my blush and bronzer declutter video, I have a little mini of the Tarte Parte blush and I love that bad boy. It is so freaking good and I need to get more of them, but I couldn't get myself to spend $30. So now that it's on sale, I'm getting multiple of them. I'm just letting you know now. And I've heard amazing things about the highlighters too, so I'm getting more. So just get them. Just get them while they're on sale because they are so good and I haven't heard one bad review about the Tarte blushes. So they're painted, they blend out like a dream. The form, I just, good. they're good, okay? Just get, take my word for it, they are so good and you need them in your life, okay? The highlighters I never tried, but the blush, just take my word for it, okay? Now also that day, the Clarisonic Cleansing Brush Heads, I don't know which ones are gonna be on sale. Um, they have a whole bunch of them. But they usually are $27 to $32, and they're going to be on sale for $13.50 to $16. Um, so yeah, if you have a Clarisonic and you need some replacement brush heads, which I should probably do. I still have a brush head that I haven't even used yet because I'm really bad at using my Clarisonic. Um, but yeah, if you need some new brush heads, pick those up while they are on sale. Now Saturday, September 14th, the Kylie Cosmetics Matte and Velvet Lip Kits are usually $27 to $29 and they're going to be on sale for $13.50 to $14.50. Now personally, I really like the Kylie, I've tried the matte the matte lip liquid lips. I haven't tried the velvet ones, but I never picked up the lip kits because I thought $30 was like overpriced. Like I thought that was ridiculous. Now that they're on sale, I might pick up few of them because I, I have a matte liquid lip and I really really like it I think from what I remember I'll have to give it a try again before the 14th but now that they're on sale I'll probably pick up a few but I thought $30 was ridiculous which is really not because it's $15 for a liquid lip and then $15 for a lip liner but like to me that still feels like a lot I don't know now, also that day is the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Foundation. It's usually $39.50 and it's going to be on sale for $19.75. I've heard iffy things about this. Um, I honestly, all the reviews I've heard was people not liking it. Okay, so it has four stars. It says that it's supposed to be like full coverage and it's supposed to be like their CC cream, um, but just a little bit more full coverage and it's a little bit, I don't know, just... It's more for mature skin, I think. It's a full coverage moisturizer. So it's literally the same thing as their CC cream, but it's more of a foundation, I guess. I'm not too sure. Um, but a lot of people, actually a lot of people, the first few reviews I've seen are actually that they love it. Maybe give it a try if you like that the It Cosmetic CC cream. Give this a try and let me know um, because I feel like it's the same thing. Let me know if it is because to me it looks like the same product. Just this one's labeled a foundation and the other one's labeled the CC cream. Um, but I could be wrong. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys have tried that foundation because I just, I don't know, I'm not interested in it. I like the It Cosmetics Matte CC cream. But other than that, it's like, whatever, you know? Also that day is the Philosophy All Night Creams. Um, they're usually 49 to 80 dollars or they're gonna be on sale or they're gonna be on sale for $24.50 to $40. Philosophy is a really good skincare brand. Um it says all their night creams are gonna be on sale so I would hate to go through each night cream and give you details about them but Philosophy is a really good brand, so if you have been wanting to try for them, try from their brand. I definitely recommend it 100%. Okay, so all of the Philosophy night creams that I've seen have four, three and a half. They're basically they go from like three and a half to five stars, if that helps at all. On to week three of deals. So Sunday, September 15th, the Tarte Tartlet 2 In Bloom Clay Eyeshadow Palette is usually $39, but it's going to be on sale for $19.50. I think this one's the more like 
not neutral one let's look yeah this one has this one is a really really popular palette a lot of people love it it has four and a half stars a lot of people love that palette i've heard nothing but good things about it so if you've been eyeing that palette pick it up while it's on sale i might because i've always wanted to give it a try um but so yeah i've heard nothing but good things about that palette so pick it up while it's on sale and then also the Too Faced um Too Faced Select Hangover products so now I don't know which hangover products are going to be on sale but I love the hangover primer um I actually am running out of it so I'm definitely going to get it while it's on sale it's usually either 32 to 34 dollars and it's going to be on sale for 16 to 17 um but like I said I don't know what's going to be on sale because I can't see it in the picture um, in the picture, it kind of looks like the, the Hangover RX Primer and the Setting Spray, but I'm not 100% sure, but if the primer is on sale, I'm definitely picking it up because it's one of my favorites. Even though I have oily skin, it's just so, so good. Now, the Setting Spray, on the other hand, I've never tried. Um, now, for Monday, September 16th, um, the It Brushes for Velvet Luxe Brushes is going from $24 to $48, and it's going to be on sale sale for 12 to 24 personally i would never spend that much on a brush i just feel like it's outrageous i've heard amazing things about it brushes they are really good and really soft if you touch them at ulta you know but to me that's overpriced maybe not i don't know just my opinion and then also on monday september 16th the strivectin wrinkle recode line transforming melting serum um it's usually 89 dollars it's going to be on sale for 44.50 this bad boy has four stars, so not too, too bad. This brand, I was trying to figure out why this brand looks so familiar to me. They actually do have this at TJ Maxx and Marshall, so if you can find this product there, that would be awesome. I'm going to be on the hunt for it now just to see how much it is there. Um, but yeah, it's just another like wrinkle reducing product and it seems like it has the average reviews, basically stubborn wrinkles. It says you're supposed to see results in seven days. So just nothing too exciting, you know, I want more exciting things. Okay. Now, Tuesday, September 17th, we have the cover effects, perfect setting powder. Also another product that was on sale last in the spring the last 21 days of beauty it's usually 35 dollars and it's on sale for 17.50 heard nothing but good things about this setting powder so i pick it up while it's on sale i did and i haven't tried it yet so i'm really bad at trying new products i like i'm so sorry if i wish if i knew this was gonna be on sale i would have tried it for you guys but like i said i literally do not know until today um but yeah i've heard nothing about good things about it i picked it up last sale and i think i paid the same price so Next for Tuesday, we have the Zero Vital HDI Dietary Supplement. It's usually $100, and it's going to be on sale for $49.50, which is crazy, crazy nuts. Let's even see what this is. Um, it has four stars. It's basically just pills, and I feel like this was in the last Ulta 21 Days of Beauty. I really do, because looking at this picture, it looks very similar. So if you're into dietary supplements, then that's your thing, but not... Not me, not me. Now for Wednesday, September 18th, we're almost done. The Pure Lashes and Mascara are gonna be on sale. They're usually eight to $22. And they're going to be on sale for 4 to $11. i will probably pick up some lashes. Mascara, I haven't really heard anything about. I don't really hear a lot about Pure besides like when they come out with their holiday collection is when I hear the most about them. But mascaras and like their individual products that they have like in their line, I haven't really heard much about. Their lashes though, I have looked at some pictures of them, pictures of them and they do look really, really nice. Um, so I'm definitely going to pick up a few of those if I can remember. And then also Wednesday, the First Aid Beauty Pure Skin Face Cleanser. It's usually $21. It's going to be on sale for $10.50. Go check your local TJ Maxx and Marshalls before you get it at Ulta. I mean, it's good to get it at Ulta because you can get points, but if you want to not spend as much, TJ Maxx and Marshalls is the way to go for most of these products. Um, I, I don't know if I've seen... I think I've seen the Pure Skin Face Cleanser. I'm almost positive I have seen it. Um, but I think it's just really just like your basic face cleanser. Just gets rid of the dirt oil nastiness on your face and go on with your day kind of thing the last thing for wednesday is the lancome visionaire skin solutions it's usually 65 to 75 dollars it's going to be on sale for 32.50 or 75.50 so let me see what this is oh it must be a whole collection because i looked it up online and a whole bunch of stuff came up and nothing like is named the lancome 
Visionaire Skin Solution. So I actually think that is a whole Lancome collection. So I really can't give you much information about it. Now for Thursday, September 19th. The Dose of Colors Matte Liquid Lipsticks are usually $18. They're going to be on sale for $9. I'm also going to try to pick some of these up. I think they were on sale last sale too, but I'm not too sure. I have tried her lip glosses, but not her liquid lips, but I've heard amazing things about them. So I'm definitely going to pick that up. And then the Origins Travel and Trial Kit is usually $29.50. It's going to be on sale for $14.75. This I also feel like was in the last Ulta 21 Days of Beauty, but I'm not too, too sure. I'm not too sure. I just know that it has a bunch of travel stuff in it and stuff you can try like from their brand. Now for Friday, September 20th, the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye Full Coverage Waterproof Concealer is usually $26 and it's going to be on sale for $13. Just a heads up, they do have this at TJ Maxx in their older packaging and I believe it's on sale for $10. If you Obviously if you get it at Ulta, it will be in the newer packaging, but just a heads up that they do have it on sale at TJ Maxx and Ulta or TJ Maxx and Marshalls right now um, in their older packaging, which I picked up and I have yet to try it. But I've heard amazing things about it, literally like amazing things. I have to try it soon. Also that day, the It Brushes for Ulta Concealer Brushes go from $16 to $34 and they're going to be on sale for $8 to $17. Don't really use a brushes for foundation or concealer. I usually use a sponge, so I'm going to pass on that. But if you like to use brushes, um, it, it cosmetics brushes are really nice and I feel like $8 is a reasonable price as well. Um, the Clinique Moisture Surge 72 Hour Auto Replenishing Hydrator is usually $21. It's going to be on sale for $10.50. Um, but if you do have dry skin, the Moisture Surge line is awesome for dry skin. Even oily skin, I used to use it and I loved it and it was so, so good. Um, and sometimes I still use it. I have it in my drawer still. But it's a really, really good line. Clinique is an awesome skincare brand. I love them. And maybe I'll look into picking that up because that looks promising. Alrighty, guys. We are on the freaking last day. Thank God because I need some water. But Saturday, September 21st, the Urban Decay 24-hour Glide-On Eye Pencils are usually $22 and they're going to be on sale for $11. 110% recommend picking those up. I've only tried them a handful of times, but they are so, so good. And you really can't go wrong with a waterproof, transfer-proof eyeliner. Um, it's just, it's so good. I really like it. I've tried it, like I said, a handful of times. I don't have a full size in my collection, but I do have a mini one that I love. Um, but yeah, I definitely recommend picking that up while it's on sale. Also, the Benefit Cosmetics um, Precisely My Brow Pencil is going to be on sale, or it's $24 and on sale for $12. So I'm probably going to pick that up because I do have, I actually do have the Precisely My Brow Pencil and it's really, really good. I do really like it, um, but it's not a full size. It's a little mini guy, I believe. So I'm probably going to pick that up um, because it's a really good, it reminds me a lot of the Brow Wiz to be 100% honest with you guys. And then the last product is the Juice Beauty Stem Cellular Anti-Wrinkle Serum or Moisturizer. It's usually $70 to $80 and it's going to be on sale for $35 to $40. Okay, so the Anti-Wrinkle Moisturizer actually has four and a half stars. So that seems really, really promising. Now the serum, let me see. Okay, and the serum also has four and a half stars. So that's actually really, really promising. Again, it's just your basic anti-wrinkle product. It doesn't claim anything too, too exciting. Juice Beauty is a very pricey brand, but I've heard good things about it. As you can see, it does have pretty good ratings. But most of you guys, if you do have BoxyCharm or Boxy Lux, you probably already got the moisturizer or the serum in one of your BoxyCharms or whatever. Um, but so yeah, that's it. <laughs> I wish that they had an Ulta 21 Days of Beauty just for skincare and then one just for makeup because I feel like this Ulta 21 Days of Beauty is just flooded with skincare and I wish there was a little bit more makeup in there, especially some newer products. Um, but I, yeah, I just wish it was less skincare and a little bit more makeup, but beggars can't be choosers, I guess. Um, but so yeah, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, be sure to let me know in the comments down below and give this video a big thumbs up. Also, if you're not subscribed to my channel, be sure to click the subscribe button down below and turn on the notification bell so you get notified every time I upload a new video. And so yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.